Hey kiddos, good morning. We're gonna read this book, okay? It's called Planting a Rainbow by Lewis Ellert. Every year, my mom and I plant a rainbow. In fall, we buy some bulbs and plant them in the ground. So this one over here is called an orange tiger lily. This is a red tulip, an orange tulip, a yellow daffodil, a blue hyacinth, I think that's how you pronounce it, a purple crocus, and a purple bearded iris. We order seeds from catalogs and wait all winter long. So they order a phylox, I think that's how you pronounce that one, a morning glory, a zinnia, aster, a cornflower, a marigold, and a daisy. For spring to warm the soil and sprout the buds. Remember, we need soil for them to be able to grow their roots. And it's a top layer of earth so that when they come out, they come out on the top and the bulbs sprout at the very top above the soil, right? So that's what that looks like. Look at their beautiful garden. Then it's time to go to garden the center. I'm sorry, let me try that again. Then it's time to go to the garden center and select some seedlings. So they bought a rose, a poppy, a philium, I think it's how I pronounce that one, violet, a pansy, a fern, and a carnation. We sow the seeds and set out to the plants and soil. So look at how they got their garden going. All the plants are in soil, right? Beautiful, huh? And watch the rainbow grow. Now look at how their garden is growing now. And it's getting bigger and bigger. Right? It's absolutely beautiful. And grow. And grow. All right, can you guys see the theme of this book already? That they're planting the rainbow? Look at all the different colors that they're planting, right? We have some red flowers. They have a tulip, a carnation, and a rose. Let's see what orange has. And some orange flowers, which this one's a tulip, a zinnia, tiger lily, and a poppy. And some yellow blooms. They have a daisy, marigold, and a daffodil over here. Look at what green is. We, we grow some green, right? So green is the fern. And some blue flowers. So these are morning, oh, morning glories. These ones are the delphinium, hyacinths, and the cornflower is this one. And some purple flowers too. They got the crocus, the phylox, so this one. They've got the irises, this one, 
This one is the violets, and this one is aster, and this one's the pansy. All summer long, we pick them and bring them home. Oh my gosh, that is such a beautiful bouquet of flowers. What do you guys think? And when summer is over, we know we can grow our rainbow again next year. I'm going to go back to that beautiful page where it showed us our rainbow garden. All right, kiddos, this is what I want you to write about today, okay? I want you to pick one of the flowers you saw in the book. If you don't know how to spell it, that's okay because as you can see, some of these flowers were hard for me to say, okay? And I want you guys to write about what you would do in your own garden. If you could grow these flowers in your backyard, would you grow a little bit or a lot of it, make it kind of look like a jungle? I don't know. Would you plant the rainbow? See how she has the rainbow? What would you guys do? So that's what your writing prompt is for today, okay? You're going to write about a garden, and I want you to pick what kind of flowers you would have in your garden. If you can't spell them and you don't know the names, just tell me their colors. See how they have so many different colors? They got oranges and reds and greens and yellows and blues and purples. Oh, I think that one's a little bit pink too. Tell me the color of the flowers. You don't know their names and that's okay. Tell me I would grow pink flowers and they would be huge like a house. Or I would grow these orange ones and I would have them right next to my window so I could see them in the morning. You tell me, okay? That's what you're writing about today, okay? Pretty cool. All right, guys, I'll see you later, okay? Bye.